just wondering about the news quiz. It's one of my favourite radio shows on at the moment. And I was wondering, do you think it's better than Have I Got News For You? I have no doubt on the planet that it's better because uh, we do it for a 30th of the money. Uh, but also we make proper political points as well as being funny. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm afraid. It's a bad thing. But I got a, I got a bat for my team uh, and I think we have a fantastic crew and I'm proud of the programme. And it is the single most successful podcast in the country. So that's not too shabby. Not at all, no. If I, so obviously you're incredible on the radio. Which radio show do you respect most in Britain at the moment? It doesn't have to be comedy, but... I, I still have to vote for I'm Sorry I Haven't a Clue, which after all these years, those boys are so fantastic. If you ever wanted a lesson in comedy timing, sit at the feet of, of Graham or, or, or Barry Cryer and you will learn something straight away. I'm about to tour with the old boys uh, in some live theatre shows and I'm going to sit in the chair. <clears throat> we miss Humphrey Littleton. There's nobody, never going to be anybody as good as him, but I, I plan to have fun. So the other thing I was worried about, speaking of learning things, a lot of our readers were wondering about QI. Sorry if you get asked about it all the time. We are wondering, what have you learned from it? Do you genuinely learn things when you're on the show? No, I've learned nothing at all. Uh, in fact, the reason Stephen isn't here this evening, I was representing QI, uh, is because last week somebody asked him a question about a rather niche area of science, and he's still answering. That's the reason he's not here. He just... That Honestly, the boy knows everything and he needs to tell us all. No, I've learnt nothing, no. So, my last question, if you could present a show with any comedian on radio, who would it be? Well, it doesn't have to be just radio. Um, I, I don't think I would necessarily pick one person because there's so many great people around, but I would love to see more women being allowed to work together. Uh, Ronnie and Conor and I uh, once did a QI together, and I don't know why more women... Quite often you're the only woman on a panel show. I don't know what they're worried about. Maybe our cycles will collide and we'll start getting grumpy with each other. I have no idea what the problem is, but uh, so there's, there's plenty of great women out there. Do you think it's getting better? Because uh, everyone seems to talk about more women in comedy. I don't really seem to be seeing it. When I go up to Edinburgh every year, I don't see it. Do you? Uh, no, I don't see it at all. There wasn't a single woman nominated this evening who was the headliner of her own show. And until we get women presenting chat shows, and until we get women uh, out there making their own comedy, um, I'm afraid. Uh, to me, I felt slightly depressed. If I'm absolutely frank with you, I felt slightly depressed. I just thought, wow, I've been doing this uh, 34 years now, and I'm not sure that we're any further forward.